Managing change is hard. Organizations that handle change well are able to thrive, while those that do not struggle to survive. A key aspect of this depends on how well the organization understands the change process. One of the models for understanding organizational change was developed by Kurt Lewin in the 1940s, and his model refers to a three-stage process of change. The model is still widely used and serves as the basis for many modern change models. According to Lewin, the process of change entails creating the perception that a change is needed before moving toward the new, desired level of behavior, and finally solidifying the new behavior as the norm. Here's a description of each of the stages. Stage 1, Unfreeze. Unfreezing is about overcoming inertia and dismantling existing mindsets. This involves getting over the initial defense mechanisms that people exhibit to avoid change. Creating an awareness of how the status quo or current level of acceptability is hindering the organization in some way is a way of unfreezing. Stage 2, Make Changes. This is when the change becomes real, and the time that most people struggle with the new reality. It is a time marked with uncertainty and fear, making it the hardest step to overcome. During this step, ensure that people begin to learn the new behaviors, processes and ways of thinking. The more prepared they are for this step, the easier it is to complete the change. Stage 3, Refreeze. This where the changes made are accepted as the new norm or status quo. This ensures that people do not revert back to their old ways of thinking prior to the implementation of the change. Efforts must be made to guarantee the change is not lost, rather it is cemented into the organization's culture and maintained as the acceptable way. By recognizing these three distinct stages of change, you can plan to implement and manage change much more effectively. Start by creating the motivation to change. Then move through the change process by enabling and empowering people to embrace new ways of working. And finally end the process by assuring a sense of stability.